Yes, I'm going to say Ghanaians love their dead. Ghana funerals are a general reflection of the social standing of the deceased person. Hello, I'm the Jesse Pepper and Pays. Hello, I'm the Jesse Sugar Sugars. Welcome back to our channel. This is Jesse, as always, the beautiful Jesse, the Jesse, the Pepper and Pays, Jesse, the celeb, the celebrity. So, guys, hi, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Hope you are popping. Hope you are glowing. And welcome back to my channel. I want to use this opportunity to say thank you. One of the videos I posted recently did amazingly well. The video I titled, uh, If You Think Ghana Is Poor, Then Watch This. Guys, I was really flabbergasted. First, I don't know the right word to use to um, express my um, gratitude, how I feel. But all I can say is thank you so much, guys. My greatest um, joy and my dream is to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of 2022. And the only way this can happen is when you quickly smash the subscription icon leave keep engaging on my videos like giving me a thumbs up leaving comments um ask me questions um engage in the video leave your opinions and certainly by his grace we are going to get there so guys today i want to talk about the funeral in ghana slash in nigeria i am a nigerian as you all know and i am an Igbo lady from my accent, I think you sh you will be able to guess that we have so much regards for funerals when it comes to funeral, especially funeral of an elderly person, man or woman, of someone who is aged. We have so much respect, even aged or underaged. Um, we respect um funerals, and that is why in the part of the world where I come from, like. In Igbo, we spend so much. When you come for our burial ceremonies, you are going to be shocked the way people go out of their way to spend, to prepare for the occasions. Like we virtually cook a um, lot of food depending on the family, if um, they are financially um, buoyant, if they are popular people and the amount of well-wishers they are going to be in expecting on that day that will go a long way to determine how well how far how big or how small a funeral will be um arranged or prepared for so in nigeria basically let me speak for Igbo that i'm very sure in the Igbo land basically what we do is this with the family are well to do most of them we go as far as killing a cow for the man or woman provided he or she is married before the demise and they will go as far as i'm um, calling musicians calling those who are going to play um different music for the day they will go as far as i'm um, printing ashebi clothes i don't know the english name for ashebi but it simply means um wearing uniform if for example when i lost my grandma i can invite my friends and they are going to wear a particular uniform to come and show my grandmother her last respect my husband friends can do likewise my siblings friends can do the same so this is what we mean by ashebi and some Sometimes we sell these uh, materials to those who are not really close family members. And what we wear differs, we really do not um, have a particular um, dressing code except the spouse. Our funeral arrangements, we really um, spend so much because preparing a funeral is as I think is as expensive as preparing a wedding. I really can't tell which one is even more expensive depending on the family that is involved and depending on if the woman um died at a ripe age or if she died um before her 50s or so so there are so many factors we put into considerations ghana funerals are a general reflection of the social standing of the deceased person as well as his or her impact in the society it is also the final time that the community comes together to celebrate the life of the deceased as well as the legacy of the departed, including supporting the bereaved family in different ways. In Ghana, weddings are actually celebrated, but funerals are extremely celebrated in a bigger way. I don't know if I'm making sense, but what I'm trying to say is this. In Nigeria, for instance, we can go all out for our white weddings, our traditional marriages, our um, festive um, occasions we can go all out for it but in ghana ghanaians prefer to um go all out for a funeral rather than going all out for a wedding celebration you may be asking why if you're not a ghanaian if you're a foreigner or if you're visiting ghana for the first time and i'm going to be answering that 
subsequent. Most Ghanaians wedding um, are often celebrated but are limited by invitation. This simply means that if you are not invited in a Ghanaian wedding, please just stay in your house. Don't go and embarrass your ancestors. Don't go and embar embarrass your lineage. Stay in your house because they have already budgeted that they're expecting 50 people and the plan is strictly for 50 people so you don't just have to go there if you don't have an invitation card because when you get to the premises you are going to show your invitation card showing that you were invited and arrangement were, was actually made on your behalf in ghana young couples are ad advised to invest more on their newly a marriage to invest the money they have in their marriage itself rather than in the celebration this brings me to ask what sense does it make to spend so much money on the day of your white wedding and then you do not even have the basic necessity to live comfortably with your spouse and what sense does it does it actually make to spend so much on an event which is going to last for less than 24 hours only to begin your marriage with doubts and the stress that inevitably comes with it. Basically, I am one of the person that is of the opinion that funerals and wedding, especially the Nigeria kind of wedding, the Nigerian kind of wedding should be simplified to the minimum. It should be made less costly than it is already. Ghanaians are of the mindset that could rather comfort and support you when you lose a loved one, when you lose a family member, when you lose someone dear to you than supporting you to call people to come and eat rice and drink on your wedding day, even despite some of them will not even come with a wedding gift. Ghanaians can go as far as sponsoring the coffee for the barrier, drinks, food, but they won't even think of doing any such thing like buying drink or paying or contributing parsley when you are wedding. They believe that since you are alive and, and happy, that is more important than, than whatever contribution they might render to you. They also believe that spending a lot of money in a white wedding or in a wedding is generally a nonsense. Some of them even go as far as serving only drink i think i've made this um video or this point when i made a video about some cultural shock i witnessed in ghana and by ghanaians and this is the reason so if you don't know why ghanaians we not want to spend on the food rather than giving you drink and snacks if you come for their wedding ceremony now you know and then please just give me a thumbs up before i continue they also believe that bride and groom are well off to host a grand ceremony relatively this depend on their pockets in Ghanaian's wedding sponsorship is strictly by the spouse and sometimes by their immediate family or families marriage and death are a process of transition and this is celebrated differently by different people in Ghana society death is celebrated more this is a way of saying goodbye to a friend or family member you are sure that you will never see again Society builds momentum for the dead and not for the living. Yes, I'm going to say Ghanaians love their dead. And this is why they go all out in convenience, in convenience themselves in different um, ways just to pay their last respects. And I'm going to end this video by saying that Ghanaians prefer to attend funeral than attending a wedding. Guys, if the points I've made in these videos are valid, just let me know in the comment section if you have other contributions you want me to include or for others to read and learn from. Just also leave it on the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. See, I come your way. Always remember that Jesse, the beautiful celebrity, loves you. Bye.